Shooting for the bronze medal on target number two. Representing France, ranked number 19 in the world, Thomas Chervaux. Here comes his opponent, all the way from the land down under. And yes, he carries a really big knife. Ranked number 56 in the world, but with a world indoor title under his belt, Rio Olympian representing Australia, please welcome Ryan Tyak. Our world archery international judge for this match is Mr. Hossein Nazarinejad. Tiak shooting first, we shoot second. Well, Hussein Nasrinajad, our line judge, declares the range safe to shoot. Ryan Tyak of Australia going up against Thomas Shiro of France. The Australian will shoot first, the number 56 in the world, has never taken an individual outdoor medal. Right? Starts with a nine. Hey, hey. Up against France's 20-year-old Shiro, also never won an individual medal outdoors. And he shoots a 10. What a remarkable stuff here. Right. Clinging to the nine on the right. Shiro just 20 years old. And another 10. So three nines here for Ryan Tyak. Thomas Shiro has two tens. A seven will draw things up here for the Frenchman. Anything better, and he's won the first set. And another very close one to the ten, but it's marked as a nine. And Shiro takes the first set. And I'll be talking to uh, Ryan Tayak over the past few days, and uh, this is the most serious I've seen him look, Vic. Normally he's uh, walking around with a big smile on his face. Well, these competitions, they can add a lot of pressure. It's definitely something these guys take seriously. When you've trained for years and years to have this moment, you want to make it count. Well, he didn't shoot badly at all there, and uh, here we get a comparison of all six arrows. Well, there's not much to say with the French archer shooting. I mean, just a hair low, but that is right in the middle. Ryan also has very good, very solid shooting, running just a little bit on the right-hand side, touch high. Well, I'm sure he'll adjust properly. And uh, I spoke to Ryan a couple of days ago, and he said that uh, when he shot first day, he went for a run afterwards. He went to the gym and did a workout. Shot came out and shot again the next day. Shot brilliantly. Thought, well, I'll take a little rest today. Didn't train. Went to uh, shoot again, and he was terrible. And he's been training every single day since then. Another nine. Still up to the right. Yeah, he's still running a little bit to the right there. Could be the wind, or the sight's just not set exactly where he wants. Shiro, I, I mean, His sight is set exactly where he wants. He is on the middle. Incredible, isn't it? Still a nine, though. And a first ten there for Tyak. Shiro just taking a little bit of time here on this second arrow. If I could shoot, if I could have shot like that, I'd have an Olympic gold medal, not an Olympic <laughs> silver medal. <laughs> See the reaction a little bit there. 
But it's a nine. I mean, you said earlier, and anything in the nine circle is a nine ring is good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a purple patch over for Thomas Shiro. Shoots his first eight. Bringing us to two sets each. So we got a tie. We got a tied score now at the moment. Now that'll settle Tyak's nerves. Uh, but the way Shiro was shooting, you weren't expecting an eight there. And he's taking a look down the uh, the site there, to, to down towards the target. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what he's thinking at this point. He just needs to get back to business and shooting on the way that he shot the first few shots if he wants to have a good chance of winning this. Uh, Tyak's shooting very solid though too, as we see. I mean, his shots are good. They are very close. It's looking very serious, uh, but I think that's more about trying to keep a focus and keep concentrated rather than uh, the nerves necessarily. Had a chance to get to know Ryan a little bit uh, better than perhaps some of the other athletes because he's joined us in the commentary box earlier this season. Amy, a good old chap. He's a very relaxed character. Yeah, yeah, he's a fun guy to be around. But obviously, you're seeing his game face on TV here now. Well, on the measure there, in fact, uh, while we were chatting, uh, the scores were marked up for Thomas Shiro, and he gets a 28, so it's not 2-2 two -two anymore. Okay. It's 3-1 uh, to Shiro. We weren't even expecting a measure there, but we got one. And Tyak will shoot first here in the third set of the men's bronze medal match. You see how much these archers move when they shoot. Archery is a much more dynamic sport than most people realize. These archers are holding 45, 50 pounds, sometimes even more. And uh, it's a lot of force. They're trying to move fast. It's not just about holding steady. It's about executing good form, good, strong, dynamic shots, as you see here demonstrated by Ryan Tyak of Australia. Level pegging here, pressure now on Tyak to shoot a good final arrow here in the third set. And the way that uh, Shiro has been shooting, one suspects that's not enough. Just like we talked about earlier, it's not only about making those good shots, you also have to avoid making the mistakes. Yeah, absolutely. And Thomas Shiro is shooting very, very well here. He's taken a commanding five set points to one lead. Neither of these athletes have won an outdoor individual medal. And at the moment, it's uh, Thomas Shiro who's got his hand on that. And uh, you see that. Uh, Ryan Tyak is shooting to the right here, Thomas Shiro to the left, Vic. That's correct. That's correct. You see that. So they may have been sighted in slightly different on the range or they're doing something different in their form, but Ryan is definitely favoring the right-hand side while Tom Tomas is favoring the left. And yesterday there was... Uh, we listened to uh, our line judge confirming that Tyak will shoot first again in this full set. I was talking to Chris Marsh, uh, uh, one of the event directors here, one of the most important people here. He talked about the wind at the different sides of the uh, shooting line. He said it's negligible. There's no difference. Another 10 from Tyak. He means business here. He's just started to get his eye in even better than he was earlier on when he was shooting all nines. But Thomas Shiro also well, just maintaining that consistency. Nothing less than an eight and only one of those. Tyak can't afford to give up any points or tie at this point, while Tomas he just needs to relax and try to shoot, get one out of the next couple sets as a reasonably good set to finish this out. Well, he's uh, given one up there. And uh, we missed the measure earlier on, but I'm not sure that that one's even close enough for a, a contest. Oh, that one has been given as a nine. No asterisk, so... 
a clear nine for Tyak, a 10 required for Shiro to get the point he needs to get his first outdoor medal. Yes. And he's got a 10. Amazing under the pressure. The 20 year old Frenchman needed a 10 to get the uh, set point that he required to get to six. The winning margin for uh, this individual match. And a handshake offered graciously by Ryan Tayak. But it's Thomas Chirau of France who's taken the bronze in the recurve men's individual.